Today I'm going to show you how to make miso walnut brownie. You've got to try this, it's so delicious. So what I did is first, I turn on the oven and set it up as a 180 degree uh, Celsius and please don't use the fan force. Okay, first of all, butter, softened, a cup of brown sugar, just gonna mix it until nice and smooth, very nice. Lovely, just like that. And in the separate ramekins, I'm going to mix miso paste. You can use white miso or mixed miso. This will give a nice subtle saltiness. And I'm going to mix that with unsweetened yogurt. Once it's mixed nicely, and then I'm going to add this one to the bowl. And mix it again. To the smooth paste. Lovely. Now I'm gonna add one and a quarter cup of self raising flour and mix it well. You might think that too much flour, but don't worry about it. You, those flours will be mixed really nicely soon. Lovely. Once the, um, all of the flour has been mixed, like that. You're just gonna add half cup of walnuts. What I normally do, put it onto my hand and then I crush it. And then I mix it again. The rest of the walnuts, I'm gonna put it on top. Lovely, this is ready to bake. There are a couple of choices that you can do. You can use one of this big, ba you know, the flat baking tray. You can use these ones, or you can use these small palliatins if you have one, or small frying pan. That looks so cute. Today I'm gonna use these ones. So I cut the baking paper just like this into the square, and now I'm gonna use my hand. Take the mixture, about 100 to 110 gram of the dough for this tin. I like the bit of the roughness, just like that. And then I have a bit of the walnuts on the top. Gently press down. Now I'm going to put them into the oven and then bake for 20 minutes. 20 minutes up, brown is ready. Smells good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add the scoop of ice cream. Yum! And a little bit of the green, maybe. There you go. Sachi's miso walnut brownie. Enjoy! 